All right, I have picked a title and I'm going with Trips and Tips. Well, actually, Amber picked it for me, which is pretty much the same thing as me picking. So yeah, today will be all about shutter speed. Let's go. Alright, first order of business is to take a bus going straight into Amsterdam. Yeah, so we got a hotel that's kind of near the airport. So we're taking a bus to Amsterdam to see the city. And that's where we're going to talk about shutter speed. off the bus and we are now in Amsterdam and the first thing I can say is that it is so beautiful I am so excited to take photos <laughs> all right so let's begin so what is shutter speed shutter speed is basically how long the sensor is exposed to light. So, your camera has a sensor, and shutter speed is part of what dictates how long the sensor is exposed to the light. So shutter speed is expressed in fractions of a second. So you can have shutter speeds of 1 1 25th of a second, which means exactly that. It's 1 1 25th of one second. If you go above one second, it's just how many seconds it is. So shutter speed is also known as exposure time. All right, so about shutter speed the concept of fast shutter speeds and slow shutter speeds. A fast shutter speed is something that has a shorter exposure time. So something like 1 500th of a second as compared to something like 1 10th of a second. With the faster shutter speed, you're going to be getting less light on the sensor because it's only exposed for a shorter fraction of time as compared to a longer shutter speed with the camera sensor being exposed for a longer amount of time. Here's me taking a photo to show you guys the difference. All right, so this is gonna be a faster shutter speed. I'm gonna try to get some people biking in the shot. All right, now with the same settings, same aperture and same ISO, I'm gonna change the shutter speed to make it slower. So you can see the faster shutter speed has the sky properly exposed. You can see the blueness compared to the slower shutter speed, which let more light in. Therefore, the sky was kind of overexposed. So that's just kind of one of the effects of shutter speed on your photo. Modern art. <laughs> so ever since we were kids, we've loved the stroke waffles here from Amsterdam. Whenever parents would go, they would bring us back some and we would devour it in like five seconds. And now it's time to get some stroke waffles from this cool place that was recommended online. I saw an article about it. Let's try it. All right, my review of these stroke waffles. Um, they're not exactly waffles per se. It's more like a cookie, but it has the same kind of filling inside. It's pretty good. It's crunchy and it's sweet. And it's really, really thin. Look at that. Where'd you talk? Another way that shutter speed affects the image is how blurry or how sharp in focus the photos are. With a slow shutter speed, like something like one sixth of a second, one tenth of a second, if your subject is moving, you might get some motion blur. That's what they call it when the shutter speed is a little too slow, that it doesn't completely freeze the motion that's in the image. If there's motion in your image and you use a faster shutter speed, like say something like one five hundredth of a second, you might be able to get a really sharp image. 
Let's check out this exhibit, then we're gonna go back to the city, and then I'm gonna demonstrate how shutter speed affects motion blur. For this first photo, I'm going to use a slower shutter speed, so you're going to see that there's going to be motion blur in this photo. Alright, for this next one, I'm going to use a faster one, so things are going to be more sharp. Alright, we are at the Rijksmuseum now. Look at this architecture. It is amazing. on a bus now going back to our hotel before we go to dinner here's some bureau of this window all right so some final thoughts on shutter speed so the general rule is you set your shutter speed as something that's at least twice the number of your focal length. So say I'm usually shooting on a 50 millimeter, my shutter speed should be at least 1 100th of a second. So yeah, I like to keep it at 1 125th. That's just about twice as much as my focal length. So depending on what you shoot, so for example, if you're shooting at 200 millimeters, you have to keep it at around 400 because the idea here is that the more zoomed in you are or the more telephoto your focal length is, the more small shake in your hands would affect the photo. As usual in any art, once you know the rules, the rules are meant to be broken. You can do whatever you want, like you can just be creative, use motion blur creatively. I see a lot of sports photographers, you'd normally think that they have to shoot at really fast shutter speeds, but sometimes they shoot at slower shutter speed to be able to capture and see the motion of the blur and keep the subject sharp. So yeah, the rules are meant to be broken. Experiment, and yeah, that's about it for the first episode. We're gonna have dinner tonight. I'm at the hotel now, I'm gonna catch up on some editing. See you at dinner. All right, at our hotel lobby, just waiting for our Uber. We're gonna go get dinner. And yeah, this lobby is just really nice as well. All right, we are here, we're gonna get dinner. All right, that's about it for today. We're done with dinner. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to be flying to Rome. So see you there.